Hi everyone, it's Pastor Ron of Victor Church Penticton. Uh, happy 2023 coming up. Happy New Year's. Uh, I'm just bringing you a short message uh, to bring in the new year. And I've called it Rebooting 20 for 2023. You know, when I was younger, I watched my grandfather, uh, who was a great golfer. He would take a swing and, and boom, that ball would just go right straight down the fairway to a place for his next shot. And then he would take out his iron and he'd go to that. He'd take his next shot and again, the ball would land exactly where he needed it to be for the next shot. And most often, my grandfather would finish either at par or under par on the golf course. Well, golfing is not genetically transferred. Uh, my results were much different. I would describe my golf game uh, earlier and today as more like someone that would aerate the turf or the fairways. In fact, when I was younger, I was so I would get so frustrated and I, I would actually throw my ball and club further than my golf ball could be hit. And so I decided at a younger age that I would take a pause on golfing. And uh, then when I got older, or now, I decided I would try golfing again. And so uh, I got a set of clubs, and I would go, I'd go out with family and friends now. Uh, but I would describe us more like impersonating a golfer or a PGA golf pros. Of course, we would put on the appropriate wardrobe, uh, like a, a hat. <coughs> uh, then we'd have the glove, the Michael Jackson glove. We'd take out the tee and the ball. And of course, then we'd have our mighty club. And of course, when we're lining up on the ball, we would uh, we line up on the ball and we pause, and then we pause some more, and then we pause again, as if that's going to help us. And so then we would take our mighty ferocious swing and we'd nail that ball and it would go straight down the fairway where we want it to go, not. Most often, or not, our mighty swing like a Paul Bunyan cutting trees in the forest, uh, that little innocent ball would slice and dice into an unknown location in deep rough water, vineyard, trees, next fairway, sand trap, or like me, a lot of times it would dribble over the next tee box. Of course, being a gentleman's sport, when that happens in our golf swing, all of us pass on our condolences to each other. We refrain from ungodly conversation and we give encouraging words and or yell for if the ball goes to a place it's not supposed to go at other golfers. Or we would yell mulligan. Well, what is a mulligan? Well, a mulligan, not for the pro, but for the wannabe golfer is a redo a do-over, a time in infamy when we pretend the shot did not happen and it would give us a fresh start in our next swing. It's not a professional golf term, but it's for us wannabe golfers. In fact, there's even those who do not announce the mulligan. They're the ones that while they're in the shadows of the rough and no one's looking, they move their ball. That also is a mulligan, even if they don't announce it. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do mulligans in life? especially when we say or do something that's out of bounds? Well, the good news is God has provided for mulligans. In fact, he's revealed these mulligans each day and through the seasons of life. Uh, he reveals them when we go to sleep and we wake up in a new day. He reveals them when we help others in activities that, you know, for the less fortunate. He reveals them in a spiritual encounters where we feel connected to God and creation. Or he provides special days like Christmas and New Year's where we can realign our lives and point us to God's ultimate mulligan. Do you need a mulligan today? Do you need a relational reset? Do you need some financial peace in the midst of all this inflation? Do you need a slowdown as our world is going at a Mach 2 pace? Uh, do we need a spark or do you need a spark from the mundane? Do you need forgiveness, peace, and hope? All these are part of God's mulligan. But unlike normal resolutions which fizzle out, God's mulligan lasts for eternity. It gives us a fresh start every day by correcting our, our perspective in life, especially in the negatives of life. So how do we receive this God mulligan? Well, the first is we have to ha allow him to change our perspective. 
What is our current perspective in life right now? Most people are like God's wannabe golfer, or like not God. Most people are like the wannabe golfer. We dress the part in life thinking we have, wanting everyone to think we have it all together. We take our mighty swings at finding peace, fulfillment, and success, but we only end up living in the rough. A lot of times God, God's mulligan is viewed for the weak, the poor, the uneducated, the marginalized, but God's mulligan isn't, it's for all people. Why do I know this? Think of the great golfer, Tiger Woods. He has all the success of money. He had a gorgeous model wife, a family, and yet his life showed he required God's mulligan. It unraveled on a public display uh, before the world with alcohol, extramarital affairs, and finally a car crash where he was driving under influence and required reconstructive surgery to save his legs. Does this make him a bad guy? No, it actually makes him eligible, like you and me, for God's mulligan. Because all of us are in the rough in life. Like Tiger Woods, all of us are trapped in addictions, going from relationship to relationship, looking to extremes for purpose. Uh, we see people church hopping, seeking religious experiences, looking to money, and oftentimes a lot of people look to suicide in, uh, a fresh, for finding a fresh start. But God wants a correct perspective. A correct perspective is understanding God's mulligan for emotional and spiritual healing in hope and peace is not about our swing of self-effort, but it's actually about God's swing. Uh, like my grandfather, God's swing was straight and true. God's mulligan is a free gift. It's for the rich, the educated, and the poor. That can change your whole life today, uh, in 223 and, and into eternity. It will give you freedom inside, power in trouble and peace for eternity. But it is all about your perspective. What is your, what is your perspective about God and his son, Jesus? What perspective are you focusing on? Will you continue to slice and dice in your life, taking your mighty swings, looking for a fresh start and temporal pleasures and people and things? Or, or allow God to straighten out your swing by receiving the professional swing, his son, Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians chapter five says this, <clears throat> verse 17. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has begun. Choose to allow God to change your perspective, God to take control of your life and receive his mulligan, which will propel you to purpose and perseverance in life, regardless of what you encounter. But God not only wants to change our perspective by straightening out our swing, he wants to provide us with the gas power to live the life he's called us to live. And it's called his love. You know, a lot of people put faith in their faith or faith in uh, some religious uh, encounter or social justice activity. But this is what Galatians 5, 6 says is the gas. For when we place our faith in Christ, what is important is faith expressing itself in love. Haven't you already noticed how hard life becomes when you try to change your own life or find purpose uh, in other things, in people and self? The reason is the purpose is outside of God. When we're outside of God's purpose, it's like trying to push a car to, our own, uh, to a new destination with our own strength. Instead of just putting in the gas, starting the engine, and allowing the car to carry us to the destination. The fresh start is all about relationship. It's about allowing God to fill our tanks up with his gas of love. It's about taking ourselves uh, and ask, talking to ourselves and asking, why am I doing what I'm doing? What is my, what's propelling my life today? Am I trying to gain victory by what I do or am I allowing God to give me a victory through straightening out his swing through the Lord Jesus Christ? See, God's mulligan is, is Christ working in us. It's through a relationship with him. He's the professional, he's the Lord, and he's the author of all faith. It is Christ who becomes our swing. He becomes our identity and propels freedom in every area of our lives. In 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17, it says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. God 
looks at us through the life of Christ, not through our failures or our past, but as new creations in Christ. So what is propelling your life? Is it God's love and purpose, or is it religious or non-religious activities and duty? I want to close with this. I want to close with first a little warning. A lot of times the fresh start or God's mulligan begins like a New Year's revol resolution, revolution too. We lose our momentum over time because we forget our purpose or our goal. Returning to uh, self-effort, uh, and it usually ends up leading us back to boredom or apathy. It's because a lot of times that we get comfortable and we, because of our success. So that it's also the source of hypocrisy, play acting. Uh, it's the wannabe golfer when we lose our purpose. We have all the outward uh, looks of religious activity, but inside we forgot our purpose. We forgot our focus. See, God's mulligan of a fresh start only continues when we remain in his purpose. Others, people focus. Uh, Matthew 28, Jesus gave us that purpose before he ascended back to his throne in heaven. He said to his disciples, which applies to us today, I have given all authority in, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go out and to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit teaching these disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So much, so many times we end up in a church or, or a denomination thinking it's their mandate, but that's not what we're to take people. The purpose is to lead people to Christ and make them his disciples, not our denomination or our belief system. Any other focus, no matter how good or spiritual it is, will replace this relationship with God and his message, and it will lead to boredom. It'll lead to hypocrisy in our lives and the lives of others. The loss of purpose uh, will lead us back to finding our next fix again in a business, the next million, a new relationship, another drug, another holiday, a bottle, the next spiritual experience, and it will cause us to end up being cranky, apathetic, critical, offended, opposed to change and stagnated in our attitudes. It's the death nail of God's family, the church. When God's family forgets they need God's mulligan and their purpose, boredom sets in. In other, and other things take over the purpose that God has that would provide the gasoline and the perseverance in God's mulligan, the fresh start. If you want to avoid this though, uh, have a continue and have a continuous adrenaline rush in life. Return to the purpose. Return to the purpose and be purposeful in God's message. It's called the good news. So much of the news that's reflected in the God's family is negative, condemning, judging news instead of the good news that though we are out of bounds in life, God has provided a mulligan found in His Son Jesus Christ. That is the message of God's family. Sharing Jesus is the source of power. It actually provokes a fresh start in our lives daily and others because it is God's eternal purpose. He wants a relationship with all humanity and he wants his people to tell people that good news. Put on God's mulligan today. Instead of trying uh, being religious or looking to religion or materialism or people for a fresh start, look to God, look to his son, Jesus Christ, for that fresh start. Take a risk. Let God give you a correct perspective which will propel you to his purpose and purpose for life and live in a life of peace and hope in 223 and beyond. I hope you have a wonderful new year coming up. But before I let you go, I want to close with this uh, prayer. If you really desire a fresh start, God's mulligan, uh, today in two, 2023 and beyond, just simply say this prayer. Say this conversation with God. God, I've been doing life on my own. I have fallen short of my goal of significance and purpose. I feel broken inside and I need forgiveness and to be forgiven or to forgive others. I need to be, feel your fulfillment. I need a fresh start. 
Today, I choose to trust you in straightening out the swing of my life and give Jesus control. Thank you for hearing my call and receiving me and making me the new creation that you promised in your written word, where the old has passed and the new has come, that now I have become your child. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have done this from your heart, you are completely forgiven, a new creation, and God's mulligan will begin to work throughout your life as you partner with God through obedience and trusting in him as your Savior and your Lord. For those that are already a part of God's family, maybe you're that, that third aspect of purpose. You've lost your purpose. You become religious. You go to church on Sunday, you read scripture, uh, you help people, you do all the other, but inside you don't have that zeal. You don't have that, that feeling of fulfillment. Well, just change your perspective. Look at what you're looking at. Look at what your focus is on. Is it on God's mulligan or is it on things outside of God's mulligan, even though the good things? Take this time and say, God, I recognize that I've lost my purpose. I've lost my focus. And I just want you to restore that and return that purpose so that I may feel that fresh start each day and I may have compassion on others and understand that just as I need your mulligan, they also need your mulligan. And I will then uh, walk out this purpose in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'm Pastor Ron, Victory Church of Penticton. I hope you have a great and blessed New Year's. Uh, if you have questions or you want to message me and tell you you've received God's knowledge, mulligan, you can do that through vcop.ca. Again, it's vcop.ca. Have a blessed day and New Year's.